And let's see what we have inside. Wow. What's up everyone? Phil here from Furious Technology and we are doing a very unscientific experiment here. We're going to be cutting open every single one of these golf balls to see what the inside core looks like of these golf balls. I've got my big cutter here and we're gonna use this to cut open each golf ball one by one and get a nice look at them. We've got all of the top golf balls available on the market. They're all the quote unquote Pro V1 equivalents. So they're the best of the best golf balls. I would say probably the lowest one on here is the Kirkland three piece, which is the current Costco ball, the three piece one. So we've got that one right there. Those ones are probably the cheapest. You can get two of those dozens for about $20, $25. So very cheap ball. Uh, we've got the Strixon Z Star. We've got the newest Zyzo Pro V1 equivalent. This is a new brand, Zexo or Zyzo. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it properly, but uh, that one is a very good ball. We've got the Bridge. Stone X5, which is Tiger Woods' ball of choice right now. We've got the TaylorMade TP5, which is one of the most popular balls for a lot of the top golfers right now, as well as the Callaway Chrome Soft, uh, the Twervis edition, which is just the soccer ball look, but otherwise the interior of the ball is the same. We've got the brand new Pro V1, and we have the four piece Costco Kirkland ball, the Kirkland signature ball. This is the one that Titleist kind of tried to sue Kirkland and Costco because the ball was just, well, too good. So we'll have to take a look at that ball as well. Unfortunately, this one is not available for sale on the market retail right now. It is very expensive if you, if you wanna buy it on eBay or whatnot, but I wanted to show you it anyway. So let's go ahead, get right into it. Let's open up each one of these golf balls. We'll start it off with the Kirkland right here. Let's go ahead and cut it open. All right, we didn't get it completely centered, but we did get it cut open. And this one you can see has this kind of like red looking interior on there, right there. So it's a nice red core. We've got that outer layer, which is your second layer. And then we've got the shell, which is your third layer right there. So Costco quotes, the core is soft and highly elastic core to maximize distance. And the mantle interacts with soft cover to generate optimized spin for iron and wedge shots. And the cover is durable polyurethane cover for spin and green side control. So there we go on the inside. There's all of that scientific stuff, but that's our Kirkland ball. Let's go ahead and move on over to our Strixon ball. We'll grab the Strixon ball. This one used by quite a few popular golfers. It's maybe not so popular in North America. It's more popular, I would say, in Japan and Asia. So what Strixon says about this ball is now in its sixth generation, the Strixon Z-Star provides maximum greenside spin for unmatched control and stopping power while also being longer than other mid-compression tour balls. Its premium three-piece construction gives skilled players complete tour performance, tee to green. All right, let's go ahead and open it on up and see what that looks like inside. All right, we cracked it open here. And I've got it kind of halfway a little bit. Let's kind of just pop it open here. We'll actually twist it off. You can see how strong that cover is actually pretty good because I didn't cut completely through it, but we'll pull it apart and there we go. So this is a definitely a different color interior. And this one I noticed you can't really see the three piece on it. I know you can see just this interior core. Then you can see the outside, uh, just the cover right there. But if we look at the Costco one here, you can definitely see the difference in the layering on this one. So that's your Strixon one. We'll put that one back and we'll move on over to the Zyzo one right here. There's a look at that golf ball right there. Let's go ahead and have a look at what's included inside of this ball. So what they say about this ball is X golf ball delivers maximum distance and enhanced green side spin for skilled golfers seeking consistent performance from their golf ball. All right, well, let's go ahead and see what that exactly means by looking inside of this ball here. Let's go ahead and get my clippers apart and let's cut it open. All right, we got perfectly through this one. I'm getting a little bit better at this. And there we go inside of this one. So this one, we can see it's got almost like these little 
speckled things inside of it that is marked within this interior core. And again, we don't really see maybe a little bit of a third layer that you can see very, very slightly around there. Let's go ahead and compare it to the Strixon. So different color and then compare it to the Costco ball. The Costco one is still the one you can definitely see the main difference of that core in there. These ones are just a little bit weird looking. All right, let's go ahead and put those back and let's get into the Tiger Woods golf ball, the Bridgestone X5 or XS. I'm not sure exactly which one it is, but the Bridgestone ball. Let's go ahead and see what they say about this one. So the official name of this one is the Tour BXS and it is the brand new Tiger Woods ball. Uh, we have reinvented the Tour B XS to feature our new reactive cover core technology. Until now, you've had to choose more distance or spin with real active. You can now get more distance and more spin out of the same golf ball. Designed to fit golfers with tour fast swing speeds over 105 miles per hour, the new Tour B XS has softer feel and maximum green side spin, allowing you to stop approach and pitch shots on a dime designed and played by Tiger Woods. So there we go, the brand new Tour BXS for Tiger Woods, made for Tiger Woods, an expensive ball, but of course it has to be, it's the Tiger Woods golf ball. Let's go ahead and cut this one open now as well and see what it looks like inside. And there we go. Ooh, I like the color of that on the inside. This one, you can definitely tell that extra layering around right here, just like that Costco ball had. Very distinctive, different color. Uh, they all kind of have this, like, it's like a very similar feel to it. So I'm not too sure what the exact core is, but it all kind of feels like that same weird core on there. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, but that is your interior of the Tiger Woods golf ball. Let's go ahead and get to our highest layered one, the TP5, which is a five layer, five core golf ball. Let's go ahead and read what this is about. So TaylorMade claims that this is packed with new technologies, TP5 and TP5X just got faster with greater rebound effect and optimized spin rates. There's no ball faster, no ball longer, and no ball better than the most complete tour ball. It's a five layer construction ball. So let's go ahead and pop this one open. All right, TP5, let's go ahead and throw it into my cutters right here. That fits in nicely and let's go ahead and just start chomping it here. And let's see what we have inside. Wow, okay, that's definitely a lot different from all the previous balls. You can see all those different layers on there. So let's go ahead and see if we can count them. So we got the, the single layer on the inside, which does feel a little bit harder than these ones right here, but I guess those softer cores kind of make up for it. So there's your one layer, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five. Definitely a five layer golf ball. That is very, very interesting to see that Taylor made TP5. We'll go ahead and put that one down. And we will get on to our Callaway Chrome Soft. Let's go ahead and see what this ball is all about. So the Callaway Chrome Soft Truvis Red takes tour performance to another level. We've re-engineered every aspect and element in the ball for more speed off the tee and longer distance off every club in the bag and Truvis technology for increased focus and visibility. So I guess you can kind of see the trend here. I mean, everyone basically claims more distance and more spin, but uh, it's just interesting to see what the internals of this look like. Let's go ahead and pop this one in our cutter right here, and let's go ahead and cut this one open. And let's see what we have inside of this one. Ooh, now that's definitely a different looking layer. You can almost see like it's got that almost dot in the middle. So it's like a, a different core. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, but I don't think it's a five layer. I think it is only a four layer golf ball, if I'm not mistaken. So we've got this is, I guess, considered the single layer. Then we've got the definitely that thicker outside edge there. And then the little thin one and then the actual core itself. So. Very, very different from the tailor-made one. You can see those if we compare those side by side. So definitely interesting for those two top golf balls, but now we get into the most popular golf ball in the world, I'd have to say, 
the Titleist Pro V1. Let's go ahead and see what they claim. The new Pro V1, faster from core to cover, the Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1 X balls have been engineered to leave the club face with more ball speed and lower long game spin for more distance while providing the best short game control to help golfers shoot lower scores. Lower scores, definitely something every golfer wants, especially with that Pro V1. This one is marked by one of my local golf courses, but it is a brand new golf ball. Let's go ahead and pop it into our cutter. And let's go ahead and cut open the brand new Pro V1 and see what this one's all about. And I'm interested to see if it's got a similar core to the TP5 and the Callaway Chrome Soft. Let's go ahead and see. There we go, we've got that cut open. Pro V1, ooh, okay, so that one looks like, looks almost like a single core. It's a darker colored material on there, but you can see there's that single layer right there. So I guess this is, uh, I think it's a three piece. I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but it looks like to be internally like a three piece right there. So definitely a lot different than we, I mean, you compare it to the TP5, which has all those different layers and cores inside of them. And the Pro V1, which, uh, does definitely have great performance, but it's definitely a different core inside, not as many layer of a core. So that's actually interesting. I thought there would be more to the Pro V1s, but I guess there isn't. But now we move on to our Kirkland Signature four-piece golf ball. Like I said, this one's not available for sale anymore. Brand new, unless you purchase it on eBay, you'll pay definitely bigger prices. But Titleist was definitely pissed off when this came out because it performed so well. It was one of the top performing golf balls available a couple years ago, and it is a four piece interior. So let's go ahead and cut this one open. And let's go ahead and put it into my cutter right here. And let's see what we have inside of this four piece Kirkland Signature golf ball. There we go, we're almost through. We are through now. And let's go ahead and see. Ooh, wow, look at the color of this one. That's a, a very bright color on the interior of that one, the brightest of all of those ones here. But there we go, so let's go ahead and put one of the pieces aside right here. Uh, so we have the single layer right there, there's your second layer, third, and then the, the outside is your fourth. So you can kind of barely, barely see it, but it is there, it is that four layer golf ball. So let's go ahead and pick some of these up to compare. I mean, Kirkland Signature, their newest one, and Kirkland Signature, uh, there, this one is your newest one, and this one is your original oldest one. So you can see they remove one layer, different color core. I know it's, I think it's made in different areas now too, but definitely interested to see the two differences on the Kirkland balls. I mean, if we pick up the two highest layered balls, we've got the TP5 and the Kirkland Signature right there. You can see those ones. And then probably our most popular ones, the Callaway Chrome Soft and the Pro V1. So TP5, Chrome Soft and Pro V1. So there's your, your kind of three top golf balls. You can see the differences on the layers and the internals on them. And that's why we get so much a different feel on golf balls nowadays is because, well, I mean, when you look at the inside of them, you can tell why there's so much of a different feel on golf balls. So, I mean, to be honest, most of the top golf balls perform very similarly, I wouldn't say one is drastically better than the other. So it's really all about feel. So try them out for yourself. But at least now you know what they look like on the inside of them. No questions there. Thank you very much. If you guys enjoyed this video, you want to see more, make sure you smash that thumbs up and subscribe and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.